Yes, thank you. And do not hesitate to ask questions during my presentation, if you, if you want, of course. So yes, I will uh, present some my research activities from the six or seven past years, I don't remember exactly. Um, um, so about recommendation systems and we will uh, I will discuss about a bit on meta-analysis uh, so just a brief curriculum vitae but uh, Rash explained this uh, at, the, at this moment so yes I did my uh, thesis on the University of Tours precisely in, on the uh, short uh, the beautiful town that is Blois, 60,000 inhabitants, with a lot of castles, etc. Et and I, after that, I um, performed a postdoc position to the University of Nantes, and I obtained my uh, position, the associate professor position, at the University of Toulouse on the IRIT uh, lab. Uh, more precisely, uh, my PhD were, were uh, focused on similarity based recommendation of OLAP sessions where I propose a recommender system based on civil similarity measure. I will enter in the details of this presentation. And I also propose a tool supporting the OLAP session composition, uh, including civil uh, holistic functions that I will also details uh, here in this presentation. Um, during my postdoc, I did a focus on text mining a bit and uh, applied on of uh, cultural heritage object and uh, on, on about rec uh, object recommendations. And now I'm working on workflow recommendation systems and quality measure in recommendations. So that are some small uh, papers that I, uh, that I uh, wrote on in specific journals, chapters of book, international conferences, workshops, national conferences, etc. And I also, it's really a pleasure for me to be a member of the um, program committee of DOLAP, uh, that is a famous uh, workshop on OLAP systems, and actually more in big data uh, um, approaches. So about uh, recommender systems uh, in the OLAP context. So, supposing a user uh, who wants to who wants to interact with a multitude of applications, such as uh, configure a new car in a website. So, of course, it's a joke here. It's a, an old uh, Renault uh, car, um, but we can imagine a website where we want to um, uh, uh, configure a new uh, car. Uh, in, so on a website, or to analyze some data cubes, or uh, buy something in a website, or mine data uh, of the format of big data. The problem is that in this case, a user, okay, after many hours or after many uh, minutes, this user can be confused. Why? Because, for instance, in the case of configuration of car, I don't know if you already use this, but generally it can be hard if you have not in mind the way of how the website uh, works to configure a new kite. It can be really difficult if you have not the possibility to have proposal from this uh, website. It can be applied with the same thing when we want to analyze data cubes or buy uh, something in the internet or to mine uh, big data. That is why, to in order to facilitate and uh, improve the access to the information, we propose generally user-centric system that will propose personalization or recommendation to this uh, famous confused user. Uh, personalization just to generally to modify the action that the user is doing, but just Okay, modifying, but in order to be closer to the expectation of this user. Recommendation is more to propose new actions to this user. It's important, these uh, differences, this difference between personalization and recommendation. And from the literature, we uh, base the user-centric system 
on what we call collaborative filtering approaches, uh, where the information of past user um, having action in the past are stored in logs and are used to recommend new actions according to a current action of the uh, user. So, um, just to enter in the details of the OLAP context, because um, the recommender system is proposed in this context, uh, I, I had the need to propose a multidimensional model to uh, work with this. That is, for instance, to consider hierarchies in the data cubes. For instance, if we want to focus on census data, we will need, for instance, uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, dimensions such, such as residence, race, time, sex, occupation, and where levels, for instance, all city, region, state, and uh, city, are organized into hierarchies. Okay. Um, of course, because we want to analyze a cube, we need some measures to analyze when we analyze when we cross the uh, dimension. For instance, in a cross table, we need uh, measures. We need values to analyze. So that is why we need measures like income, uh, cost gas, cost water. If we want to analyze the uh, people of uh, on a family, for instance. Uh, I also base my work on a precise query definition. It can be considered like a, query definition, a basic query definition, but uh, this query, the query definition can answer to the main uh, queries that are possible to do in a data cube. So we consider a group by set that is a link between the levels of different hierarchies that we define here. A selection set where we will, where we will define more the values that we want to focus according to the group by set and of course the uh, measure set. And we will also consider a basic definition of session that is just a sequence of queries. Okay? And my problematic during my thesis were uh, how to realize a user centric system taking into account this particular problem that is uh, the OLAP context, and, uh, but considering also an efficient way to, uh, for the recommendation. Um, so the originality of my system was to propose sequences, sequences rather than queries. Why? Because in general, from the literature, we propose, the recommender system propose just one queries or generally one part of queries. But it's not so nice to have a general view of what the users did in the past. That is why I propose sequences uh, by the recommender system rather than queries. And uh, I base my, re, my system on query expression rather than the query result. Why? Because just considering what the user is typing is more efficient to uh, just consider the results, the values, so the computation of the queries into the database uh, than uh, query expression. So in for efficient uh, concerns. Um, my system is uh, proposed in three successive phases. We were first phase where we will we'll try to align uh, the current session, so the current session being the, what the user is doing, the, the session is not finished, and we will try to align this session with all the sessions uh, in the past, so produced by other users in the past. Uh, a ranking phase where we will consider the result of the first phase and we will try to rank the identified interesting sessions. And after that, a fitting phase where we will try to adapt the session obtained by the best uh, ranking phase uh, to the context of the current user. I mean, uh, we will try to modify the recommendation that we obtain here to be more closer to the current session. It's not so common 
uh, in recommendation systems. So, to be more in precision with uh, each phase, the alignment phase is uh, like this. So, we consider a Q1 session, maybe I will try with the pointer. We, uh, we have here the Q1 session in green. We have the Q1 query, so the user is, um, did this query, but he tries to obtain a new query. Uh, in grey, mm, yeah, no, but it's okay. Um, in grey, you have the um, uh, past sessions, and the idea is to align, to find a way to align the end of the Q1 session with the beginning of the uh, past sessions in order to extract, according to the alignment find him, a potential future to recommend. Okay? So this part will be potential candidate for the recommendation. According to this, uh, no, not maybe, for more precision here, so for, to, to, in order to find the alignment, we used a two-level similarity measure extending classical measure of information retrieval. The first was between queries, where we will uh, uh, propose a similarity so between queries based on the expression, of course. It's equivalent, if you are aware of this, to the GPSG format in databases, so group by uh, set, selection set, and uh, uh, join, yes, and join and projection, um, each one evaluated by a specific measure. So if you remember, a query is composed with a group by set, a selection set, and a measure set, we uh, will apply one measure per type of uh, format of the query for each of the, th for the three elements of the query. Uh, but the more interesting similarity measure is between sequences of queries. Um, we propose several possible measures that we have we, we had in mind. For instance, uh, the dice coefficient, edit distance, TFIDF, alignment of subsequences, and we ask to real users to validate our approaches according to uh, these different similarity measures. And the more interesting similarity measure between sequences and so validated with user tests was the alignment of subsequences. Alignment, alignment of subsequences uh, implemented by the extension of the algorithm of Smith Waterman is really uh, known in the biological context where we want to align DNA sequences. We finally just uh, we take the same approaches here in order to have a maximal similarity where we have a perfect alignment between two uh, sessions, a good alignment and so in good similarity when we have, for instance, a possible gap between one of the two sessions to compare, a very low similarity where we have a very bad alignment, for instance here, completely on the contrary of the sequence, and of course, minimal similarity, so zero, when we have no alignment between two sessions. In order to have the case where we want to align, uh, how can I say, a same, mm, where you want to, to align, uh, yes, to, 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 to affect a more important weight to the alignment for the end queries of the sessions, we uh, applied a gap penalty where we will score finally each queries to obtain uh, this type of uh, things when we want to, uh, uh, to measure the, the, the sequences finally. And we, we have the representation of the gap penalty using a time discounting function. 
So, according to the sessions that we obtain with the alignment phase, we will have to um, rank these sessions between them, this potential future here between them. To do this, we will apply weights on each query that are the most representative according to them to the, in the logs. For instance, here in red, uh, the queries are really similar, each query is really similar to what we can find in the logs. So finally, we will apply a more weight for these queries. We will also apply a sort of average of score between all these uh, scores of queries. And we will just take the best uh, session that we uh, obtain according to this uh, uh, phase. And so in the third phase, we apply so the fitting phase, where we will try to be more close to what the user is doing. So for instance, here we have the uh, best um, session that we obtained in the uh, previous phase. And we will try just to be close to uh, what the user is doing. The idea is here is really simple. We will just try to modify part of fragments of the recommendation here. So for instance, uh, and yes, and we will apply two types of rules. The name of uh, each rule is not so uh, <laughs> nice because we just uh, named these rules of type one. So we have here the current session, here the session of the log, and here the part of the recommendation that we will try to uh, fit. For this, the idea is to extract association rules. I don't know if you are aware of this, but the idea is to compose transaction between one query of the session and one query of the, the log session, um, according, of course, on the alignment that we found here, if you remember with the similarity measure, and the smith waterman algorithm. And the idea here is just to find some, um, how could I say, frequencies of um, fragments that we find between uh, log session, the current session and the log session. In order to have in the body of the rule a fragment of the log session and on the uh, head of the rule a fragment of the current session. Why? Because thanks to this type of rules, we will able to modify the, um, the fragments that we have here by the fragment that we have in the uh, uh, head of the rules. For instance, here, 2005 is just replaced by 2002. And if you see in the uh, current session, we are clearly in the recommendation part, uh, closer to what the user is doing. OK? We are here just focused on the year 2002, whereas before we were focused on uh, 2005. And we apply also the pretty same types of thing with rules of type 2. But just here, considering one transaction, one query per transaction of the current session. It means that we want here just to um, identify some regularities that are identified clearly in the current session. For instance, here, uh, and yes, uh, so yes, for instance, we will, so using this transaction, we will extract all the types of association rules that we uh, can. And if the rule uh, matches with the recommendation, for instance, uh, we have the context of year 2002, it matches with this context, we will add the uh, fragments that we have in the um, head of the rules. For instance, here, average income. And here also, we, we, we clearly identify that uh, this recommendation is closer to this current session. And we have produced something that, is, that seems more natural for the user 
considering the fragment 2002 and average income for uh, the user. Whereas before, maybe not so, uh, not so evident for the user to use this type of recommendation. Um, of course, it's nice to propose a recommender system, it's nice to propose a sequence of queries, but it's also, it is also nice if we are able to propose some quality measures between the recommendation. And I tried to um, recommend some quality measures for recommendations where really the trade-off is between something that is uh, from a first pass Mm, provide some novelty to the user because the user is analyzing a data cube so he has to be uh, he, he wants to analyze so the recommendation the recommender system has to provide some new uh, um, new fragments new queries to this user so he has to have some noble uh, things to uh, do but he wants also to be um, well adapted to what the user is doing. That is why I, I um, also proposed uh, a measure that can estimate the adaptation of the, um, of the queries recommended or the sequence of queries recommended to the um, current user. So uh, here Nobility whose recommendation provides new elements informative from the logs and an adaptation preserving a consistency with the current, uh, current session, yes. Um, so it is well to propose a recommender system, but it is well if we can really see how the recommender system can be used by users. And that is why I proposed a tool to assist a user for all app query and session composition. This tool is composed of uh, three types of uh, functions, holistic functions, such as, of course, the uh, recommender system, suggesting queries to the user, a system also of log summary, I will enter in the details just after, in order to overcome the cold start, cold start problem that is well known in recommender system. Just the cost of problem is when we have not uh, passed sessions where the system is begin, uh, it's impossible to recommend some things. So that is why we propose a log summary approach and also a graphical user interface for the query composition, so facilitating query edition. Ed edition. So about query composition. The idea is to reuse the uh, DFM approach proposed by Matteo Golfarelli and Stefano Rizzi. I don't remember the, the year, but uh, it's, it is a famous uh, schema for uh, defining a data cube, and we just reuse this type of thing to construct a query. The idea is to, uh, when we want to obtain a group by set, just to link the levels between them, when we want a selection, we have just to click on a level to specify the value, and we have a, so a selection. And we, when we want to specify a measure, we have just to click here in the measure part and add the measure that you uh, want. For instance, I can obtain here the query average income for each region between 2000 and 2001 for women. It is this type of query is possible if we want also focused on census data. About log uh, summary and log visualization, so in order to overcome the problem of cold start in recommender system, um, the logs, so the past actions, are uh, presented in a summarized view. The idea, if we consider here, for instance, all the sessions of the log in this part, the idea is to summarize the sessions between them in order to have a, a concise representation of what we have in the logs. Just to facilitate the, the navigation and the view of what it exists in the log, and for instance, 
in order to reuse sessions or queries that are presented in the log. Using a hierarchical clustering of the log. For instance, here we try to represent all these four sessions using uh, three clusters of composed of, for instance, the first two sessions of the log, four sessions, and ten sessions. And the, because we want also to navigate between the sessions, we proposed um, splitting operation where, for instance, we can click on a cluster, and when we click on the cluster, we have the subdivision in two other uh, clusters composed of seven sessions and three sessions, so the sum, the sum is ten, uh, in order to navigate in the uh, hierarchy and in order also to uh, obtain a potential interesting session or query of course. Um, yes, because and we, we know that a log can be uh, composed with um, many uh, queries or sessions several, maybe hundreds or dozens uh, queries of more sessions. We offer also the possibility to the user to filter the log according to uh, one query. For instance, I want all the sessions on the log that, are, that include the query uh, sex female, year 2000, 2001, and the measure average in, in income where the uh, system will compute another view of what it exists in the logs, considering only this query. For instance, we have just here three sessions that are represented to the user. We offer also the possibility to um, filter the log, not just only using a similar query, but a similar session. So the user is doing uh, session and we will try to find just the sessions on the log that are similar to the session that the user is doing. And of course we also propose in this uh, system the recommender system that I where, where I detail uh, the things uh, just before. So for instance we have an example of recommended session according to what the user is doing here. The current session being here. Um, a common problem with recommender system is to test the recommender system and even more the tool that I proposed here with real users. It's really a problem, it's really common, it's really difficult. That's why we call to master students to uh, answer to different questionnaires, different questions, in order to obtain some logs that we will use to uh, test our system, if the system works, and if the system is able to recommend relevant uh, recommendations. But the problem is that master students are maybe not so expert with all app systems. And that is why we just asked to the students to use the query composition tool, so without using recommender system and without using log browsing. Why? Because we decided to compare the efficiency of master students with, it's a joke, monkeys. I mean, uh, just using naive algorithm. The idea being, uh, if we are able to recommend, rec to propose recommendations uh, that are more efficient that, than naive algorithm could be. If the students are able to do more efficient uh, uh, sessions than our naive algorithms could be. So the naive algorithms just use the holistic functions so using uh, the recommender system and the log browsing, answering to exactly the same question that we asked to the students, and we also finally obtain some logs. And we just, after that, compare the logs between them uh, with 
uh, we, um, by applying recall and precision measures between the same set of sessions answering to the same question. And uh, of course, the good thing is that our um, system seems work uh, well in terms of precision. So our recommended system is really precise compared to naive algorithms are able to do. The problem is about recall. But recall is really simple to... Well, when we want to obtain a high recall, it's really simple in this case, because we have just to... Um, to how can I say? To execute our naive algorithms in an infinite time in order to obtain a, rec um, a maximal uh, recall here. So now the part two, it's okay for the first part? If you have any questions, please. Or any other personality? Yeah, please. Uh, Uh, maybe because we, you you are from bachelor or master degree. Sorry. Both. Both. Yes. Yeah, so yes, it's really on. We are really in research with recommended system, so it can be difficult. But. Um. Finally, um, I can retake this example because uh, we have a Q1 session where um, the user is doing a drill down between the uh, levels of cities. So, for instance, you, have, you want to have in a first query a general view of all cities, I, we, con considering, of course, data, for, uh, considering census data. And we want a more focused view, view on region and state. Uh, he wants an analyze on 2002 and he tries uh, different types of measures. And according to log session that we uh, found uh, with the um, uh, alignment phase, we, al we found a nice log session aligned with the end of the current sessions with the beginning of the log session. So these four queries are aligned between them. And after that, we extract this part that will be the recommendations, and we will try to modify this recommendation according to the two types of rules that I um, explained, where we will uh, extract association rules. You know what is association rules? But association rules or fre um, pat uh, frequent patterns are really known in databases where we want to extract frequencies of associations between data that we have yeah, that you have in a database it's uh, i don't remember the the paper but i think it is in the 90s uh, uh yet during the 90s uh, uh, years um and according to the association rules we extract we are able to modify the recommendations to be closer to what the user is doing. You see? Do you understand the difference between... So, and you use different approaches, yes? Instead of monkey. Uh, <laughs> you, for the evaluation? For the evaluation. Um, no, because... So it will be nice also. Yeah, but the, the best way is just to... Um, to find real users and experts that we will use this type of system. But the problem is that uh, I finished my PhD and I have to, uh, um, to work with uh, postdoc position in another domain. So I, actually it is not, uh, I, not I, I do not continue this uh, type of thing, but I will. Deep learning in, you mean, for instance, 
for the recommender system? Uh, why, yes, why not? It could be applied, of course. With, uh, for instance, no, no Ronald network. Yeah, but the no Ronald network has to be, of, of course, defined. <laughs> um, but yes, it, of course, it's possible. Um, so it's okay. Maybe it will be more. So we have ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So maybe I will try to to speak about the third part that are my current works. Uh, the idea is pretty the same that in my thesis. Here we consider, for instance, two uh, analysts, that is Dr. Flor, that we want, he, she wants to analyze flowers, and Dr. Cactus, that he wants to analyze cactus. A lot of cactus, and different types of cactus. And every uh, guy has a lot of information on flowers and cactus. But the problem is that the Dr. Flor uh, so she is an expert on flowers, but she has not the way to analyze correctly the data. But Dr. Cactus has this. And the idea is how to, um, to use the information computer sciences that this guy has to be used with, by the Dr. Floor. The idea is, is to propose a recommender system in three phases where we will try according to a current data set that a user wants to analyze and where he's, he has expectation of results um, to find some similar data sets on the past so for instance uh, realized by Dr. Cactus and here we have for instance Dr. Flo um, and so when we identify uh, similar data sets we will try to identify workflows um, done in the past that could match with the data sets according to the expectations that the user wants. And according to this, we will recommend the best workflows, so in terms of uh, that, that matches with the best past data sets and the best indicators that maximizing the, what the user once. Uh, I will not enter in the details of workflow definitions, but here it is what I did. Uh, it is what I uh, so we have said. Um, the system recommends workflows from past analysis according to their relevance related to performance indicators. Uh, we have three steps. The first, uh, the system identifies the past data sets which are the most similar to the current data set. The related workflows are selected and executed on the current data set and uh, the workflow maximizing the indicators are recommended to the current user. So for instance, the doctor flow. Um, yes, maybe, no, I will try just to note that we have, also, of course, our system is the best to compare to other approaches here. But just to have a focus of what I plan for the next years, maybe three years, or maybe uh, more, uh, is to define criteria for analysis quality. It's really a problem, an actual problem in research, is how to estimate the relevance of analy an analysis that can be recommended, for instance. How to appropriate a recommendation by user, it's also a real problem in research and how to indicate to the user the relevance of a, recommender, a recommended analysis in the simplest possible way. That is why maybe I proposed doing my thesis a tool to facilitate the life of the expert, for instance. Uh, also adapt the recommendations to the context of the user, so how to handle the workflow uh, maybe by modifying it, and in order to, to respect at the best the user wishes, so we are also in the user interest, 
That is why we call the recommender system as a user-centric system. And uh, also exploring, past analyzing, processing, so offering the possibility to a user to navigate between the workflows, for instance. Uh, but the questions are how to represent them to the user, for instance, by a graphical interface. Um, and also to offer the possibility to query the workflows so just by filtering them uh, according to what the user uh, here wants. So maybe I will finish here. So merci beaucoup and uh, thank you. <laughs> um, it was maybe a bit difficult. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I understand. So can you bring some small example? Uh, recommender system, it's a bit hard to do this in, in a simple way, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, sorry, it was not you. Uh. Yeah, but what we, you have in mind is just the um, three things. Is that you have um, um, the recommender propose a sequence of queries in order to have a general view of what it exists in the past. So not just one query proposed to the user, but really a view by sequence uh, and also so mm, yes so it's the th first thing the other is to use similarity measure when we want to recommend something according to what the user is doing and what it exists in the log and the third is to able to be uh, closer to what the user wants and what the user is doing uh, when he wants to fit uh, recommendation and so by modifying some parts of recommendations to the context of the user. The context is really important in recommendation. The profile of the user is really important. It's in the recommender system has really to be user-centric. It's really important. Yeah, 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 of course. I will, uh, yeah, yeah, I will try. Of course. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.